Right, I'm Dominic Twennell, Director General of the National Museum of the Royal Navy. Okay, can you tell us a bit about the exhibition we're standing in today? Well, the exhibition supports the, the removal of the masks from Victory. Um, Victory is looking slightly denuded at the moment, though still open for business. Uh, and what we want to do is explain for our visitors uh, why we're taking the masks now, why we've embarked on a large um, programme of repair, which will go on probably for 10 years, open for business throughout, of course, uh, and try to put that into some sort of historical context. Uh, in, you know, ships of the line like Victory, all wooden ships, were made of biodegradable materials, so it's hardly surprising um, that virtually every five minutes they needed something doing to them. And what we're doing is just the last, uh, the latest in the long line of repairs to Victory. Certainly won't be the last, now I come to think of it. So in terms of what people can see in the exhibition, what are the highlights? Well, I think the highlights for me is the ability to see all this wonderful rotten wood that we're taking out of the ship. Um, some of it is very crumbly and has just gone. It's been eaten away by beetles or it's been damaged in the past by shipworm or gribbles. Uh, some of it's just dry rot or wet rot. And that's quite evocative and even moving because um, parts of Victory are not in good condition. But then there's all sorts of things that's on the wood. There are lovely raised marks. These are the marks which told the builders, the original builders, uh, where the piece of wood should go. There are the copper plates which have come off her bottom. Uh, there are wonderfully evocative photographs of the latter part of Victory's life, which people tend to forget. They always think about you know, Nelson death and glory, and all, all of that sort of stuff. But they forget she had a long life um, before she became a museum ship. 19th century, so she's been rammed by an iron warship, for example. Um, there's a wonderful photograph with her steam firefighting system on board, which looks more dangerous than the fire, actually. Uh, and there's some fantastic footage of Victory being floated into the dry dock uh, and raised onto a cradle so she could be preserved for us to see today. So it's quite an interactive exhibition. If children came down, what would be good? There's, um... there's lots of things to touch. Um, and I love touching material as well. It's one of the pleasures of a curator's life is that you can touch all this stuff that other people can't. Well, here you can touch it. Um, so all the materials that Victory's built of. Um, there's a lovely interactive um, battle game. So you can try and fight the, um, the Battle of Trafalgar. Don't know who's going to win. Let's hope, hope it's us. Um, there are some lovely computer interactives and on some of those you can vote um, for what you'd like to see happen to Victory in the future. Simple questions like, are we ever going to get to the time when we have to put a cover over Victory? Would you like to see that? Well, I'd be interested in what visitors have got to say to us. Okay, and um, finally, how can people come and visit this exhibition? Well, we've made it easy because it's free, so that's the first thing to say. So all people have to do is come down to the historic dockyard and they can walk around the dockyard free, come into this exhibition for free. But of course, remember um, that if they pay the entrance price, there's some fantastic things, Warrior, um, the Mary Rose Museum, Victory herself, that you can also see. So it makes a terrific day out. Fantastic, thank you.